Deep beneath the frost-backed mountains sits Orzammar, the larger of two known remaining dwarven cities in the world. Orzammar was once the seat of a major empire connected by tunnels called Deep Roads, which stretched thousands of miles. The city now stands alone, cut off from the rest of the dwarven ancestral lands by the Darkspawn incursion. Secure in Orzammar's impregnable construction, the dwarven noble houses continue their centuries-old power struggles. Assassination and blackmail are commonplace, but the appearance of honor is paramount. You are the second child of King Endrin of House Idukan, the ninth Idukan ruler elected by the noble assembly. You grew up in a world rife with political intrigue and have struggled against brothers and cousins for honor and prestige. Today, a feast celebrates your first military commission, the opening move towards real power in the ever-changing game of Dwarven politics. Greetings, my lady. You are dressed and ready. Excellent. I couldn't find the armor's matching dagger, but I scrounged up a rather fancy longsword. Do you wish to wear your shield to the noble's feast? Uh... I wouldn't even wear the armor if not for, for tradition. <laughs> oh, it is great. Thank you for the feedback, Matt. I appreciate it. Good. I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> I'm not really that happy about how she looks either. But, you know. <laughs> it's just who she is. Just, just who Brinks is. She can't help how she was born or something. Did I even say her name right? Okay, um, let's see. I don't want to look fearful. Mm, I don't know. Am I, am I a brave dwarf? I assume I'm a... Nah. I kind of want to say this because it sounds funny. I wouldn't even wear the armor if not for a tradition. Why not? Because it chafes. I never liked the feel of it. Get used to it. You'll be wearing that armor a great deal from now on. Although the idea of you charging <laughs> naked into battle holds a certain appeal. <gasps> you dirty dwarf! Close the door and we'll talk more about naked to- Oh, maybe I called you a dirty dwarf too soon. <laughs> you forget your place, underling. You, my friend, are ridiculous. Ha! Let's just laugh it off. One can't take all this marching about and speech-making too seriously. Moving on to the business at hand. The king expects you to make an appearance at the feast, but there's no rush. The noble family heads will spend hours boring your father with petitions and petty grievances. The art of ruling is hardly bo No, it isn't. Uh, what sort of grievances? The usual. This lord had my cousin killed. This lord seduced my wife. This lord <laughs> did the exact thing I'd planned to do to him, but he did it first. They pose and bluster, and each pretends he is the honorable man in a den of thieves and assassins. Bah. The rest is worth seeing, though. As part of the celebrations, permits have been auctioned off to members of the merchant caste who wish to sell wares in the Diamond Quarter. Lord Harrowmont has also opened up the provings for young warriors to test their mettle before tomorrow's battle. Rumor has it that Harrowmont hopes you'll be swept off your feet if a well-placed young nobleman wins the provings in your honor. Hmm. When the proving myself? Well. Uh, that's not likely to happen. Still, it could be fun to watch, shall we? Sure, I guess. With you as always, my lady. The day is ours until the feast. The day is ours until the feast. Items received. Oh my god, I'm rich as hell. 30 gold? Maybe I should have went to the merchants. I figured I wouldn't have any money in the start. All right. Hello, Ninjari. All right, so we're just, ah! Where's our politics? I'm not gonna read everything, by the way, um, unless unless it sounds unless it's something I'm like really curious about. 
then I will, but I don't think I'm gonna take the time to read every little thing. Healing thingy, my dingies. Take oh, I can hit take all. That works too. Do do do. Took you thirty hours to get that much. Well, that's because you were foolish and didn't start as a dwarf noble. I bet you regret your decision. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Oh, I feel like the mount sensitivity is kind of insane. Can I change it? Yeah. Down just like maybe a little bit? Swap? No. Okay. Resume. Oh, I guess we should save here. Just in case everything goes wrong. Alright. Let's go exploring. Ooh. Poison making. I need flowers and flasks for that kind of thing. Oh! Dirty fighting. Why is it on number two? They might still be sent too sensitive, actually. I'm gonna turn it down even more. Maybe like 35 or something? Eh. That's a bit that's a bit better. I might mess with it a little bit. Apologies if I do. Lock Trian's room. Key required. You are a Dragon Age Origins fan only? Does that mean you don't like the other Dragon Age games? Oh. <laughs> I've never played any of the other ones. Than later. Excuse me, I'm just gonna barge in here and see what's going on because you looked suspicious when you ran away from me. Hello? Ooh, mistress. Wait, whose room is this? Oh, Balin's room. I am a rogue, but I am also a noble, so they gave me this heavy armor that I don't like. I, I'm sorry. I thought you were Prince Balin coming down the hall. I. Forgive me. Hmm. Gorm, tell her that my brother's at the feast. I can't be bothered to talk to her. She's so underneath me. No, I don't think I'm gonna have that kind of attitude. Um, no harm done. I will show myself out. With your leave, my lady. Hmm. <laughs> go or stay, I don't care. Thank you. I will go now. Okay. I'm guessing she was just here to do the dirties. Hey, I unlocked it. Oh, is that because I... Oh, I lockpickied it. Inquisition is awesome, but you can skip number two. Oh, really? Okay. I think I own number two, but I just never played it. I don't know why. What? Why can't I loot these chests? Okay, hang on. Royal shields. Oh, should I equip some junk? What do I have now? Dwarven longsword. Hmm. I guess I should equip a bow. Oh, I do have a secondary weapon slot, so I can do that. What's the hotkey for this? Slash. Slash. You think Rogue is the best? Well, I'm glad that I picked it then. Dusty leather booties. Oh, are these better? Uh... I, oh, armor. No. Well, they're light armor. So, okay. Do I want to dual wield right now? or do No, because I don't have dual wielding skill. So I should just use a sh my dumb shield, right? Because I'm an Iducan, and it's a it's the family shield or whatever. I don't want to disappoint my family. Let's go, dude. What's your name again? Gorim. Alright, so... That room we were just in was one of my brothers, I'm guessing, I think. And he had a whore in there. Where are we going? Diamond quarter. Oh, we're going to the throne room. Okay. It's this away. This 
place is really awesome looking, by the way. You sure you want to go to the feast now? I doubt we can escape to see the provings once we're inside. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know if I'm interested in the provings. Am I interested in the provings? What do you mean by escape? A great many nobles will want your ear today. If we're going to have some fun, we should go to the provings now. All right, fine. I can't wait to see I this like fighting fun. today. So this must be kind of uh, like a arena type thing. Gets you the m most early on because of the lock. Oh, okay. Diamond quarter. The one main thing I remember about this game <clears throat> when I played it the first time, strangely, is that the loading screens took a bajillion years. But I think that was just because my computer. Your was father has allowed the merchants to show their wares in the diamond quarter during these celebrations. That's nice of him, isn't it? What a nice guy. Oh, we can work this out reasonably. It's in the records. There's nothing I can do. What's the matter, old man? Please, Master Volney. My work is accredited by the Shaper. These books are lies written by the enemies of House Volney. I write only what I find in the ancient records. Lady Iduken, you can vouch for my work, can't you? Your father loved my history of Iduken, Paragon King, Peacemaker. Hmm. Oh. I greatly enjoyed that book as well. This worm has written a book that slanders my house. <laughs> so kill him, do you fear an old man? What does it say? It doesn't matter, it's all lies. Oh, wouldn't I know that if I read it? <laughs> uh, then kill him, no. Tell me what it says, scholar. My work tells the stories of all those raised to paragons in the last 500 years. When the assembly names a paragon, that man or woman is then, by definition, everything one can aspire to be in the world. They form their own noble houses, and are revered as living ancestors. But Paragons start off as men. Volney was more than a man. Okay, get to the point. Why is he so angry? Volney became a Paragon by the narrowest <clears throat> margin in history. One vote. A vote mired in rumors of intimidation, intrigue, and outright bribery. The records of that vote are kept in the shape of it, and are a matter of fact. Not liking history doesn't make it any less true. I mean, he's got a point. You're just mad because... You're just mad because that's the truth? I mean, that's too bad for you. Really. I guess these dwarf people are all about their... their on, the honor of their house and all that shenanigans. But I think I'm a more down-to-earth kind of person. I'm not really a nobly noble. I'm more... Um, humble, I suppose. I think. So, um... The truth, the true or false, the paragon's reputation must be protected. Yeah, now let's go, let's side with the old man. The paragon, or the scholar's right. You're taking his side? Yes. What if he published a book like this about your paragon, I do? Then I would just run away and be a rogue in the wilderness. I do Ken was a great man. Now let's not start, like, fighting with him. The truth is more important than your pride. Shut up now, Brunton. Yeah, the truth is more important than your pride, dude. Sorry. You would not say so if it was your house, but I shall respect <coughs> your wishes. You better. For now, excuse me, your Damn. highness. Is that a threat? Is that a threat? That I will has send no idea Gorham how weak his house is or how low he sits in it. Shall I have him killed, my lady? Oh, that's very tempting. <laughs> Can I do that and not get in trouble? He sounds like a D-bag. Make it look like an accident. Am I a good person, though? I don't know. I think I might be. I don't want to be a dick. <laughs> See that everyone knows why he died. What do you think, Scholar? Let's let the Scholar decide. Well, historically, it has been prudent to eliminate a small threat before it becomes larger. Oh, is it now? Or has it been? Um... <laughs> What do you guys want me to do? Do you guys want me to... Do you think I should kill this guy in the name of Dwarfly Honors? Or should I just let him live and be like, whatever, and brush it off my shoulders? Be just a care, carefree dwarf, like, eh, whatever. 
<clears throat> I'm going to take a drink of my coffee while you guys decide this for me. <laughs> Very axe, you think I should be good, huh? But is it technically bad if I'm just doing, you know, what dwarves typically do? Is that really, it's not going to be frowned upon. upon. <laughs> you usually killed him. I kind of want to kill him, honestly. Just because it might seem, it, it might seem okay to my character because it's just what, what they do. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Okay, we'll be bad. Do the prudent thing, Gorum. How do you want it done? We're not going to be a jerk about it, though. Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah, it seems like it happens all the time with dwarves. I don't know. Do I want to do it publicly? And strike fear in the public. <laughs> uh... Oh, I'm so. Will this come back into the story later? I'm super curious. I'm gonna do it just to see. Hello, Mark. I'm gonna. Okay, publicly make sure everyone knows why. I guess. Understood. Is he gonna leave now? You've shown yourself more daring and aggressive today than most believed of you. Someday I hope to write of the great exploits you are sure to perform. Word yes. has been sent. He won't live past the hour. You've shown House Iduken a friend to research, history, and the glory of our people. Nice! I get like 10 points of respect for that. Alright, you'll remember this. <laughs> you remember you right of me. No, it was mostly to put Brunton in its place. Perhaps a sign of your gratitude is in order. Oh, there we go. There's the roguish personality coming out. Of course. A copy of A History of Ijukin, Paragon King and Peacemaker, perhaps? I was thinking more about gold. No, I have a lot of gold. I was only kidding, old man. I don't want your book. <laughs> Such a sense of humor. <laughs> I'll just be about my work. <laughs> the guy's so nervous when he talks to me. Don't worry, dude. I was on your on your side the whole time. Couldn't you tell? All right. Ah, oh, my friend. Enjoying the, the festivities so far. Quite. Quite. Yes, Have quite, quite. Have you heard about tomorrow's assault on the Darkspawn Burrows? What? Who hasn't? They say they are going to strike a blow at the Horde, but rumor has it they are actually searching for Bronca. The Paragon? Why search? The ancestors have risen her up to join them. You don't think she's still out there? Impossible. Hmm. Who's that? I don't know. These silvers for such a small bolt of cloth? That's outrageous. You certainly have some gall, merchant. But it's because Lord, I'm a these noble. Are surface silks, dyed with the finest saffron and indigo, and embroidered by skilled elven tradesmen. I've seen Prince Balin Iduken himself wearing a robe made of something quite similar. So I pay your exorbitant price, only to end up looking like a poor imitation of Prince Balin. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get no coin from me. But that's not what I meant, my lord. <laughs> my lord. It's okay, dude. You can't. You can't win them all. My lady Iduken. You honor me by visiting my humble booth. May I show you my wares? Uh... Gorham, why is this man speaking to me? Get him away! No. You have something that I might want? All ladies love a bit of silk, do they not? Lady Iduken is a warrior, born of steel and bred for battle. A thousand pardons, please. Forgive me, your highness. This looks to be mostly fabrics from the human lands. These merchants form alliances with those who have abandoned our ways to live on the surface. Really? Um... Such luxuries only make us soft. Now I like luxuries. It's nice to have such pretty things. If it can't be used to polish my shield, what good is it? How many of our good our people are on the surface? Yeah, that's a good question. According to the scholars, more than 500. Does it matter? The surfacers are lost to us. Perhaps we should get going. Why are you in such a hurry? This guy is selling pretty things. I think we should look, okay? Get off my back, dude. Let me look at your wares. Please, look as you will. Uh, okay. 
Glamour charm. This minor magical charm captures the viewer's attention and distra- Ooh, pretty. <laughs> I want it. It's mine. Ooh, look at this pretty gray square he's selling. Love it. Should I sell any of my crud that I have? You gonna- Oh, he doesn't want that. He only wants pretty things. I should have known. Ooh, that gives plus one cunning. I didn't notice that. Alright, I have a pretty charm. I'm satisfied. Thank you, Silk Merchant. Nothing beats a good set of steel cutlery. I can think of a lot of things that beat steel cutlery. A lot of things. Good day, Hello. Lady Adukin. Good day, sir. Oh, Vala, big sister. How surprising to run into you out among the common folk. Especially since duty requires that you attend our King Father at the feast today. Have you so little respect for him to disregard his wishes on a day set aside for you? Lord Harrowmont told me we wouldn't be needed for hours at least. Silence! If I want the opinion of my siblings second, I will ask for it. Yes, Your Highness. Hmm. This guy seems like a jerk. So this is my... Oh, this is Trian. Okay. Uh, I go where I want, when I want, Trian. Your lack of a sense of duty to your house is obvious. I can't imagine why you are receiving a commission. I expect after tomorrow I'll spend much time apologizing to the heads of the noble houses for the deaths of their children under your incompetent command. That's a bit harsh, isn't it, Trian? As heir to the throne, it is my duty to impart wisdom and judgment upon those who need it. Now then, you, get to the feast. It's cute how you think you can order me around. Ah, uh, no, no. Kiss my ass. I'd advise you to wash that <laughs> tongue, dear sibling. Father will not live forever. Come, Balin. Why is everyone just threatening me all day long? That was fun. Nothing like being talked down to by the next king. I, it doesn't bother me. Uh, he means well. I'm sure he does. Perhaps coming, perhaps becoming king will come, Trian. She says, completely oblivious to everything. He's got to be alive to be king. I like that. Perhaps this isn't the best place for that sort of talk, shall we? Where is the best place for that sort of talk? Because I feel like that's a good idea. I'm just saying, you know, nobody likes him anyway. Look at this piece, darling. It rivals even the work of the Paragon Smith herself. Nonsense, woman. Your words bring shame upon our house. See how the edges are rough and pitted? Would you compare this to Bronca's work? Trust a woman to speak of things she doesn't understand. Be quiet now and... Hmm. Okay. He didn't finish his sentence. So who's Bronca? That's the second time what she's been mentioned. That one? I doubt he's up to the task. I'm not going down that road again. Oh, I would love to end up with a red head. Would that Sir Blackstone were a noble, hmm? Stand up straight. They're coming. Greetings, my lady. May I say you look striking today. Is this your paramour? He wears both his band braces, unmarried and eligible. I'm flattered, ladies, but I'm not a noble. I'm a knight of the warrior caste. Warrior caste isn't bad. Telly, we didn't pay gold for these permits to take warrior caste. I guess you're right. Sorry, sir. Well, at least she apologized. Are you two merchants of some kind? What does it matter if you or you're a noble, Gorham? They're noble hunters, my lady. Because a man takes his cast from his father, they hope to bear a noble lord's son. Oh. If a noble hunter succeeds, she is raised up to join the house as a concubine to care for her son. It brings new swords to a house, so many nobles look favorably on such women. Free pass into the castles. Okay, well, not really free, but <laughs> uh, we could certainly use more Duke and swords. Nope, I couldn't care less. Up jump nobles only make the castle weaker. I bet they do. Interesting. Leave them. Sure. Yes, my lady. Good luck, girls. Good luck hooking a man. What are you guys doing? Is it some kind of weird ritual dance? Praise the maker and stuff. An 
Elm short boat. Take all. Take all. People just leave stuff in the barrels like this? Man, perfectly good weapons. Hello. Invest in the next great trade expedition. No thanks. Greetings, my lady Idukan. I am so honored to have you visit my booth. I have a proposition, but I dared not approach. Yet you dare now. It's all right, I'll hear him out. Very well then, speak. Um, yes, just so. Here's the thing. What I mean to say is... It's all right. Sorry, so nervous. I had a dagger made for you as a gift for your first command. I uh, sent a messenger to deliver the dagger to you. Prince Trian had him thrown out. I don't know what offense he caused, but I had him beaten severely. That's unnecessary. You shouldn't have done that. Oh. No. Let me see the dagger. Here. Here it is, your highness. That's an amazing piece, merchant. You do me much honor, sir. The blade has been crafted over a period of two years by masters of every art. Wow. I wish to bless the lady's first command and hope that someday, <clears throat> when she rules, she will wear it. Tree ah. is heir. He will rule when King Endrin returns Shut to up, the Shut up, Gorim. If the assembly wills it. Forgive me, sir, but whispers say the second child of Endrin will be chosen. Whispers indeed. It's a princely gift. If Trian recognizes it, though, it may send the wrong message. Or the right one, depending on your view. That's what I'm talking about. Damn what Trian thinks, I'll take it. Thank you. You bring uncountable honor to me. What he means is that you'll bring uncountable gold to him if you wear that piece in public. I will wear it in public. I don't care. Uh, noble's day. Ooh. Hello. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh boy, look at this. It's fancy. Electricity resistance, armor penetration, messy kills, lucky. Whoa. That's pretty sweet. What do you have to say? Only the freshest food for your noble table. I don't know, that bread doesn't look that fresh. These greens look very old, like they've been, this looks like spinach that's been sitting out for a day. Lady Iduken, here, in my booth. I am so... Oh. <laughs> He's fainted. I make quite the impression these days. Is it hard to be the king's child, never able to just blend in? <laughs> I hate it, I just wanted to talk. <laughs> uh, sometimes. It's the price of power, I suppose. Shall we move along? Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> My lady, are you heading to the Proving Arena? Uh, well, I was... Cons <laughs> I do not remember addressing this man. Kill him! Why do you ask? We have been charged with the task of escorting you to the Proving Grounds. I clean forgot about that. Forgive me, I should have informed you sooner. The King decided you were not to travel through the commons <clears throat> unguarded. What? I'm quite capable of walking safely to the Proving. I did mention the merchants that won permits to show their goods in the Diamond Quarter. There were only so many permits auctioned off, and quite a few were turned away. Your father fears you will be harassed on the way to the Proving. That's silly, but I will comply. Will we be leaving then? Sure. We are at your command. <clears throat> 